plants feel pain. Just like us. Plants love their families. Just like us. Plants deserve rights. Just like us. Plants need their freedom. Just like us. It's not salad. It's violence. It's not salad. It's violence. It's not salad. It's violence. Plants, Plants are, are not, not ours to use. use. Plants, Plants are, are not, not ours to use. use. Plants are not ours to use. Oh, vegans. Oh. <laughs> we are not vegans. We're both normal people, right? Exactly. Totally normal. Yes. Now, I understand you vegans, you want to talk about compassion, but... You know, just because we're not vegans, because we're normal people, that doesn't mean we don't have compassion. Exactly. In fact, I just saw you out front burying a banana peel. Yes, it was a very sad moment in my life to say goodbye. Thank you for having compassion for plants. Yes, of course. There is no ethical difference between killing a plant and killing an animal. Hey. How do you feel when you're walking down the, the sidewalk and you see someone mowing a lawn? Oh. Oh. Mm. Yeah, that's how I feel too. I sob, I sob openly, tears streaming down my face. I feel for every blade of grass. So how can you say that I don't have compassion? As plants rights activists, it's up to us to help people get in touch with their empathy and their compassion. You love plants. For instance, if you see a tree, is your first instinct to hug the tree or to chop it down with an ax? I would hug that tree, that dear, beautiful tree. I would too. If you saw a flower, how would you smell that flower? <sighs> That's right, gently. You would gently go up to the flower because you don't want to hurt that individual. You wouldn't shove the flower up your nose. Very true. Earlier today, I saw a vegan eating baby carrots. They're just babies. Well, actually, I've heard they're big carrots cut into little pieces. Oh, I think that's propaganda put up by the vegans to make people feel less guilty about eating carrots. Baby carrots are babies. Yesterday, I was peacefully sitting there eating my steak, and a vegan says to me, meat is murder. Oh, really? What was that vegan eating? A bowl of rice. A bowl of rice? You were eating one individual. How many individuals were in that bowl of rice? Good. Thousands of grains of rice. Every grain is an individual who wanted to live. There's way more cruelty in a bowl of rice than in one little steak. Good point. I hate it when people say plants don't have feelings. Obviously they have feelings. Otherwise, why would plants enjoy listening to classical music? You know, people say non-vegans are cruel. You don't know me. They don't know you. Do you know that on the rare occasion when I do eat a plant, I let that individual listen to classical music first? I think that's very thoughtful of me. I agree. How's the volume for you? Is that okay? Not too loud? Okay. Yeah, you enjoy that classical music. Yeah, because I'm very compassionate. I care about all life. Vegans act as if they kill fewer animals than normal people. They don't. Vegans kill lots of animals too. Did you know that when people kill fruits and veggies, they also kill the insects that were around those fruits and veggies? There are insect parts in jam and tomato sauce. Hmm. By the way, we're not allowed to insult people by calling them pigs, and vegans could call brain dead people vegetables? Yeah, that's not fair. That's plantist. Hey, if you had to take care of either a human baby for a week or a watermelon, who would you choose to take care of? The watermelon, obviously. So you would prefer plants over animals? Well, of course. Who wouldn't? By the way, did you know that science has proven that plants scream when you cut them? Ooh. It's true. Okay, poor Apple, I know you've been listening to classical music and I don't want to bother you, but I have to make a point for this video. Okay, I'm gonna make a little cut. Are you ready to hear the scream? Oh, <laughs> my God. Oh. I'm sorry. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm 
sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just had to make a point for the viewers. I'm sorry. Are you okay? I'm so. Sorry, sorry. It's I'm okay. Sorry. I understand. I'm sorry. <laughs> Obviously, plants feel pain. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay, well, that was some silly fun, but uh, Diane, let's let's get back into being ourselves. Let's get out of character. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. So. Yeah, obviously plants don't have central nervous systems like animals do. I know some people who, who want to say plants feel pain. We know what you're really going for. You want to say, hey, animals feel pain, plants feel pain. So we're causing pain no matter what we do. So we might as well just eat whatever we want and enjoy life. But plants do not feel pain like animals do. Exactly. That's what I wish people would understand. It's, it's, it's a huge difference there. But even if you 100% believe that plants feel pain, well, you should go vegan too because you eat far fewer plants when you eat them directly rather than feeding plants to animals and then eating the animals. That's very true. We're certainly not going to call vegan food cruelty free. We know there's lots of cruelty involved in workers getting exploited. Being vegan just means we're trying to practice the golden rule. Yes, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Yes. I wouldn't like it if someone locked me up in a cage and stole my secretions and killed me and ate my flesh. So I don't want to support cruelty to anyone else. Be vegan, everybody. And do activism, too. Yes. Plants want to live. Just like us. It's not salad. It's violence. I love broccoli. Are those hemp shoes?